Yeah. Yeah, we we'll start, start over. over. Okay, so let me go live. And then... Okay. Small snafu. To be expected. <laughs> <laughs> sure. This is new for oh. all of us. Now you can redo your UGG and everything. <laughs> I need to. I know. Need to redo my UGG. I can redo my UGG. It's all right. We're just learning. It's fine if you don't break a smile in a moment. I'm going to throw something at him. <laughs> Thank you. I'm busy. It's all good. <laughs> our our one listener, if we have one, Jessica, will forgive us. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Jessica. Oh, you know what that's from? That's from I mean, um, Sleepless in Seattle. You're, you're Are we live now? Are you sure? After a brief snafu. Were we live before? Okay, you are live now. No. Live. Okay, so now we're officially live after a little hiccup. Snafu. Let's do this again. Snafu. The fuck? Oh, sorry. I had it turned down. No. See, we're none, none of us are perfect. I was trying to well, I am. Out. I'm not in control of any of this shit. <laughs> sorry. I know. It's true. All right. Well, welcome to The Ugly Truth. We are live on Twitch today. Episode 588, Ugh, Ugh. better, better, better than the trial run, not bad, not bad. Okay, welcome. And there he goes. <sighs> We're what alone. Is, why does he leave us? <laughs> why does he leave us? Our more? producer hates us. He's like, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get a cocktail. I can't do this sober. How much you want to bet he comes back with a large ice cube and something brown? In Probably. It. And he's like, you know what? I have time because it's in the beginning and I know they're going to talk for a while before they need me. Stop talking shit. <clears throat> well, anyway. you left. I won't leave. I'm done. I just want to make sure you were live. And he's drinking oh, Gatorade. By the way. Boring. By the way, he informed me that the that in the future when we make this a regular thing, uh-huh. we'll have cameras and nice lighting and filters and all that stuff. He wants his own microphone. Oh well, that's not a bad idea. I agree. He's like, I don't want to be yelling across the room and yeah. people hear the echo. And I'm like, I get it. Indeed. I get it. So yes, he's getting he's getting his own microphone so he can yeah. but he's not allowed to interject or conflict with anything that I'm saying or what you say. Well, he's I, just gonna have to be a yes man and go, Yes, that's correct. You're right. I am like that. I do talk like that when you're saying a story. I don't think that's gonna happen, but <laughs> no, I can try. It's not. Anyway, Make so him sign a binder or something, you know. Daryl and I obviously went to London for our vacation for our anniversary. It was uh six nights, seven days. The the flight was 10 hours and then as i was saying before we started recording we had a driver take us to san francisco right and the car was not i was envisioning that i would go to the airport in a limo i'd have the you know i'd have glass barricade champagne so glass shirt a lot of room to kind of like oh this is so great you guys you know? could have your free conversation and you wouldn't yes. have to feel awkward right no nope. listening to you nope none of that happened it was an escalade with no partition she keeps saying escalade is that correct dub i mean is it escalade or escalade there's an e at the end of the d escalade I don't interject. I <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Okay, well, whatever. Um, Escalade. Is it French? I will interject when I have my own microphone. <laughs> and, as, and as the Mexicans would say, I can't even say it without laughing. <laughs> Daryl and I were watching a show, and this it, white as snowman was barbecuing, and he said they, he was barbecuing, like, vegetables. And he said, and you really need to scoop out the seeds. He goes, and as the Mexicans would call it, pepitas. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we always... <laughs> <laughs> always say that no matter what <laughs> so, you know who sounds like that sometimes is rick bayless who has is extremely fluent in spanish interesting but he talks Wait, like a, was it rick bayless no oh i thought i swear to god i thought it was i thought you're gonna say we saw rick bayless on the plane no. i'm like you did I saw no one famous oh i was kind of hoping no it's it, surprisingly it's just a city with <laughs> a lot of other people but yeah we saw a shit ton of money i could tell you that woo there's a lot of money in London. Anyway, so we get to the we get to the airport. That must have been fun for you guys. Like I said, I was anxious, and so Daryl got a, almost a whole bottle of champagne down my gullet before the car even came. He to forced get us. you, I'm sure. He's like, I think you need a little something to take the edge off. I was really nervous. I'm like, fine, fine, fine. 
So we, we go. I don't need an excuse when I travel. Like, I know. I really don't. He's I'm like, like, you're on vacation. That's me. I'm yeah. like, I'm on vacation. Exactly. Let's drink. Exactly. And so <clears throat> the car ride goes. Chuck was fine. He was very nice. <laughs> that what his name was. Yes. And we Charles. Lis- we listened. No, it was Chuck. And we listened to V101 and KMEL. And, you know, it was great. I loved it. We had a great time. I just didn't. I mean, this is me being hoity-toity. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to know. Yeah. I just want the partition. I want to be left to my own devices. I want to try to talk. Oh yeah. We had a, we had conversations. Uh -uh. Daryl made friends with them as I, as expected. And so it's like, we do these things. We hate people, but then we can't help but talk to them when they're in our, like, it's awkward. Vicinity. In yeah. fact, at one point. Overly much. At like, one point on our way home, because we had to go home with, and we got Chuck again. Shut up. <laughs> so on our way God. home, he was talking about, we were talking about how. Why couldn't you've got Abdul who barely speaks <laughs> English and was like, all right, let's go. He's like, oh, okay. So anyway, the ride was fine. We get to the airport. Flawless. You know, we went all out, first class all the way, which Wonderful. we never do. There's a lounge. We went to the lounge. We had cocktails. Sweets. We had lunch. Everything was great. Loved it. Get on the plane. I've never been on first class before in my life. This is United Polaris, so you have a little cubicle of your uh-huh. own. Daryl and I sat next We've to We've all each seen other. them on TV and wished we could afford one. Right. So you sit down. And of course, me, I'm like, well, is this it? <laughs> Is this all there is? <laughs> I expected it to be like crazy rich Asians where it was like really nice where I'd get a robe and it's a not bathroom. A, Emirati's and... airline. <laughs> I thought I would get more than Where's this. my cashmere blanket? I thought. Did you say Emirati? Is that what it is? <laughs> no. It's Emirates. Emirates. Escalade. And Pepitas. Escalade. I deserve that. Oh God, I don't believe in karma, but I swear. I know. Oh, I do. Oh <laughs> I definitely God. get it. Oh God. But anyway, so the funny as shit. What was funny is I was like, how are we going to accommodate this <laughs> Sorry, I oh God. He interjected without he was, a microphone. He was laughing really hard too I when he know. said he's like, Did you just say Emirates? Well, I wasn't going to correct you. I'm like, maybe she's right. No, I don't know. No, I'm not right. I, I don't even know how I remembered. That's funny. The name. Okay, sorry. Anyway, no. So I was like, oh, so it's just this. Okay. You know, so we got a blanket and some pillows and I'm like, that's nice. And then the, the cashmere. No, they were not cashmere, but you know, you get it. You get a screen. Oh, Sex yeah. Fifth Avenue. He said Sex Fifth Avenue. Sex Fifth Avenue blanket and pillow. Okay. And so, you you know, you get a little screen and of course my, it's a touch screen and mine's not working. It's broken. <sighs> It's broken. And I'm like, okay, so I'm not uh, trying to be, seat. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but No, it better work. I wanna be you know, I wanna feel fancy. And I you know, and I heard and I think I've said this before on the show, there it's a it's a common statement apparently that the poorest rich people fly first class. Uh, really? Yes. And I'm like, I get it, you know, because most people who can afford to fly first class probably have like a gajillion miles because they travel for work. Yeah. So they can upgrade constantly. You know, that's that's, that's true. the people who, primarily. And I didn't see anybody who... They always look <laughs> normal to me when I'm walking Everybody's by to coach. Normal. <laughs> Everyone's normal. <laughs> yeah. But I did, when we were waiting to board, I did send you a photo because there was a gentleman who decided to sit right next to us <sighs> while we were waiting. And he had a bloody ankle. And he had blood dripping down his leg and he was wearing pants. And then he started doing stretches. <laughs> next to us and i'm like i i follow this one account what? i think you do you might it's called passenger shaming oh god yes and it's literally flight attendants and people who work in the industry oh, yeah. who take photos secretly of people Why do so doing many people disgusting things and you know what this is not the first time that i've had someone do stretches in my presence <laughs> on an airplane on a plane we were on our way home from hawaii when we took all the kids a couple of years ago and this woman decided to get up and in the middle of the aisle started doing the warrior pose <sighs> And I'm like, what are you doing? And then she sat there and she was sitting right in front of me and she started brushing her hair. And it was like over the back of the seat. Why do people, okay. And I was like, I'm putting gum in her hair. I would have totally done. I'm literally putting gum in her hair. peanut butter or something. Anything. I'm going to sneeze really loud or. Oh my God. Something. But she wouldn't have cared. Anyway. brushing her hair in your face. Yeah. So we get on the plane and we get. Disgusting person, whoever you are. So disgusting. Now, I never saw this man again. Thank goodness. That's good. So that was the end of that. Maybe he's, he nicked his ankle on the way to get on the plane. And like, it literally just happened and he had no choice. It just literally looked like he shaved his legs and took some skin off and it was bleedy. Okay. 
I mean, he looked athletic. Maybe he's a runner or yeah, something. Yeah, that's true. Athletes he's a runner. Don't he's keep. a track star. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so the flight there. It, I thought they waxed. Who shaves? I don't know. Poor people? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I shave every Peasants? day. I don't know. Me too. Um, anyway, so the flight was um, totally fine. Like, uneventful. Did they fix your screen? No. I had to use a clicker. Shut the. F- oh. <laughs> oh, you had to use a clicker. So it worked. It just didn't. The touch part didn't work. Right. And, I would have protested. And here's on top of everything else. Daryl got served first the whole time. That is rude. Because it, they go up and down the aisles, right? So what, his seat was? He was right next to me on the on the other side of the aisle, right? Because when you have these little pods, mm-hmm. they're like, it's not like your traditional Mm-mm. when you sit on an airplane. You're you have to, you are on literally on opposite sides of the so aisle. So could you guys see each other? Yes. Okay. Because, oh, to my protest, when I kept trying to put up this partition so I couldn't see him, <laughs> he wouldn't allow it. He's like, hey. <laughs> and at one point when we were trying to go get some sleep, he literally had the audacity. Audacity to try to hold your to hand put his arm over and <laughs> touch me and i'm like what are you going and you're like we're not cuddling on get off of me. okay first like, of all we don't cuddle at home even then, on a plane we're gonna cuddle on a plane i'm having a hard enough time i don't, don't. want your mitt touching me <laughs> God. fingerprints on my partition Jeez. so anyway um I took like a hand, oh I took like God. a mouthful of gummies trying to get some sleep. Oh, and no, work? I mean I a little. I probably got a little sleep, but it was really difficult. I just yeah. can't, I can't sleep. Was on it planes. a smooth ride? Because it you was. Know, I get very. I don't know about you. No but turbulence. I don't like any bumps or. Anything. And these planes are so large. <clears throat> they have like three entrances. So like when we came on, everybody in the bad part of the, the plane <laughs> de- never saw them. All the hobos never saw them. Never saw the unhoused. Lovely. <laughs> Never saw them. The coach people and the babies. We got a cloth covering our tray so that when they gave us our food on real porcelain. Yeah, and you didn't actually have a plastic. Silverware. Nothing was covered in plastic. Was the I got a glass of free? champagne. It was free. I got I a mean, glass of the, champagne. Well, it's not actually free because you pay for it. Oh, I paid. No, no, no. just ticket price. But, but the, the champagne came in a glass. Was it flute? decent? Yeah. It was decent, actually. Was I don't it, even know what brand it was. Was it Mums? It was not Mum. <laughs> it was not Andre. It was, oh, God. <laughs> it was something else. I don't know. We got um, ice cream sundaes for dessert. Did you eat them? I took a bite. Yeah, I'm not a huge ice cream. I'm not either, but I did take a bite of everything. Yeah. We got short ribs for dinner, you know. Yeah. And it was nice. It was good. It was yeah. really good. So then you're, you're, they turn all the lights out and you're supposed, there's a, there's a sleeping time. So that you're not bothering each other. Right. You, and so know. we're trying, I'm trying to sleep and I'm like, this ain't happening. So when I, I finally did pass out and then I woke up and Daryl's wide awake. He's sitting there watching Top Gun. And I was like, <laughs> hi, what time is it? He goes, 3.30. And I was like, you're awake? He goes, Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm awake too, because I don't want to be the only one. Well, how long did she actually sleep, Deb? I know I'm not supposed to talk to you, but I can't help it. Yeah, I'd say two, couple hours. Yeah, just oh, okay. a couple okay. hours. Okay. You know what? Hey, you know what? A couple hours makes all the difference. It really did. If In you fact, can sleep two hours. Yes. Now, we were both pretty bleary-eyed, so we land in London, sure. and I'm like, oh, God, I've heard nightmares about Heathrow Airport. I've heard Why? nightmares. It just, it's so large. Yeah, it and is. And there are huge. so many people that come yeah. in and out yeah. of there. I had no idea. Luckily, um, we got out and because of we were first class we got out first we got Mm -hmm. out first got our bags right away there was a person with a with a because we had we arranged a car the car from the four seasons to come and get us so there's a minor you can't get lost there yeah the one thing i'll say about london and i fucking love it it is the most diverse city i've ever ever been to really i am not kidding i was fabulous i loved it and it's funny because i'm like this is what America could be like this. Yeah, for this sure. This is so great. It's so We're so great. back-ass. We're, we're actually so new. People think like oh, America's God. been around forever. No, Stephanie, no, no. I can tell you the one thing that I took away from this trip was how what what a rookie country we are we when are. it comes to society. How we have so much money, I have no idea. <clears throat> well, we're really good at certain things, but, but when it comes to just people yeah. and community and it's like you walk in and everybody's so settled they're like oh, we've been around since the beginning of time yeah we've been there done all that they right. laugh Not, they don't laugh at us but i, I mean, mean they're just like no 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 well, i mean we've been through all of it. their families go back generations and generations and ours are like yeah. hundreds of years my Thousands. my great 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 grandparents were on the mayflower that's us yeah yes so anyway i loved it i cannot and there's there's a sense of just calm and acceptance everywhere you go 
I legit thought that it was uh, fake. Are you taking photos? I legit thought it was fake. I really thought fake. that people were faking. Like, th- th- no, no way is this real. Well, for, for, for sure, the Four Seasons, people were doing whatever they have to do because you're staying at the Four Seasons. I mean, just so. the common folk. Oh, you just mean the average folk? The people when we're walking around, you know, everyone's so nice. And I'm like, this is so odd, but they didn't know who we were. So why they have no well, reason to be nice to us. The queen just died. So maybe. Oh my God, Stephanie. So the queen's funeral was on Monday and we showed up on Wednesday. Tuesday. Well, Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, right. Because mm-hmm. you had to fly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we flew in on technically Wednesday. Technically you left on Tuesday. That was, we did. That's why I was so confused. About what day it was. Yeah. And, I had yeah. no, I had no clue. So by the time we get to the, to the hotel, first of all, four seasons, just, you cannot yeah, was work. it as great as Hawaii or better? Better. I, I had a feeling it would a be better. A million times better. Yeah. A million there's times. There's real money in Dude. London. <laughs> like. I mean, there's money in Hawaii. Oh, there's, no, no, there's, no. There's old money. This is, this is Middle Eastern money. Oh. The kind of money that you don't even comprehend. Kind there's of no money. quantifying it. No. No. It's crazy. You just blink and you wish for something it, and it's there. And then the cars that the Four Seasons has available for people to use if they should, should oh. they, sh- should they want to. What are, are they? Rolls Royce. I was going to say Rolls Royce. A Porsche Cayenne. Oh, geez. Um, and then of course they have the other, you know, Audi or Mercedes, mostly Mercedes. They have a lot of Mercedes. And so um, I'm like, okay, well, this is a different world for me. Yeah. And I, and of course, when you're showing up off of a plane, you look like hell. Yeah. You do your best to like freshen up, but it's never. You just can't wait to get. Get me into the freaking hotel room so I can shower. And and here's the thing with the Four Seasons. They're like, oh, well, we'd like to show you your room so we can show you all of your amenities, blah, 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 blah. And we're like, okay. So we had a doorman let us in. We had a porter take our luggage. And then the, the person that checked us in, her name was Heather. She was amazing. She literally gets on the elevator with us she goes well because it's your anniversary we upgraded your room <gasps> lovely like, Yay, thank you so much so we walk in now listen i want to be very clear how nice this hotel is oh jamie however oh no <laughs> they had a fucking barn door for a the barn? bathroom no and not only that no one wants those the entire bathroom was mirrored Oh, for the God. entire so wh- whether bathroom. you're showering or going to the toilet you are seeing everything you get to see yourself oh no it is humbling to say the <laughs> least <laughs> to say the least there's nothing worse than watching yourself sitting on a toilet i would never want to see that ever. i would put a towel over my head i have done that <laughs> I oh put a hand towel over my Stephanie. head. Oh, a hand towel? Are you kidding me? I took the robe. A bath towel? <laughs> I took the robe every time. I took the robe off the rack and I covered myself. I covered myself oh, because man. I'm like, what if, what if Daryl walks by? We actually had to have a serious conversation. And I About said, how this is going to work this week. I said, listen, I already struggle pooping when we go on vacation. Who doesn't? I said, but well, there is a really good inch gap on either side of the barn door that's cruel who designed well apparently europeans don't care apparently well, we're they're just okay. like hey we're free we're just gonna so yes do you not care that the entire room <laughs> smells like shit because it escapes out the bathroom into will, the room i will say this we had one of those it's a toilet that i actually want i want oh. a toilet it's called the toto oh like the dog toto okay um they're japanese toilets they have a very very low deep um, so everything bowl. falls far. It falls really low, but it's also a bidet, <laughs> right? And it's war- it can warm you, and dry you, Lovely. everything. Okay, they're really expensive, but I'm like, hey, I'm we got sure. a Toto. That's awesome. So I sat down, and the first time I peed, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this Toto. I want to do it. The stream was a little too hard. It went right up my asshole, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, it's like a bidet slash we enema. Need, we need to make some adjustments. This is way <laughs> too harsh. Did you figure it out? I does it have a dial? It has a remote control, and you can reduce the oh. pressure, which I did. Um, then you must always bring your glasses into the bathroom when you're going to urinate <laughs> because you can't, especially see. when you're holding a robe over yourself, right. so you can't see yourself. <laughs> it's going like I don't to the have bathroom. any more hands. It's just insane. So anyway, she comes in, she shows us everything, and the upgrade is we have a terrace, which oh, lovely. Hardly anybody does, right? But unfortunately, because we're in the city, there's really no like view. But no. the terrace is nice. But I just like having air and being oh, able to step out there. So much. We did you know. a lot. Yeah. We went out. And plus, when we look over, we can see the pub that we right. ended up going to a couple of Sweet. times. So oh, it was I great. It was did. so great. <laughs> oh, we did. Pub. Yes. Did so, it have, okay. Anyway, go ahead. No. Anyway, so she finally leaves and then the luggage comes. And here's what's awkward. 
tipping is not required in in parts of Europe. And so, and Daryl did extensive research. He's like, I'm not going to not tip if yeah, we're supposed to tip. Especially at the Four Seasons. And it says, it's not I required. I want your dollar. In fact, the only time you really tip is if they go like above and beyond, like more than just their job. Their job. Okay. And it really, it, we didn't really have that much. I mean, right. the, the service was unparalleled of course, already. Of course. Yeah, impeccable. However, when we left, he did tip all the people that were really helpful. Yeah. Um, That's usually what I do yeah, that, yeah, as yeah. we're leaving. Yeah, we did. But. We did offer uh, gratuity. Because otherwise you're tipping like every five seconds. And I'm like, right. is that appropriate? I, I never know. Well, I mean, I guess it could be. But I mean, really, they they make it really clear. They're like, no, you do not have to tip. It's fine. You know, if you want to. But it would be above and beyond. And although their service is above and beyond anyway. Yeah. It's, you know, but we did it at the end. There were a couple of people that we specifically yeah, yeah, cool. did. But anyway, so the room. So, yeah, the bathroom was... Not good, but the but the, because we had the terrace, we had an extra part, which was a couch, and we had two TVs, like because we had a separate like quote unquote living room. But it yeah. was, you know, European hotels are very small. Yes, so, so I've it heard. Was, it so was I've kind heard. of weird, but so the agreement was: I said, look, if one of us has to go to the bathroom, just say, hey, go watch TV on the couch. Yeah, it's only ten Tr- feet. Trigger but word. At least it's something, and turn it on loud. And there's a speaker in the bathroom so you can listen to the television. Oh, good. Well, so we just turned that makes up Makes more too. noise. Well, uh, I don't know about if you know this, but the reason why my husband is so addicted to blow dryers mm. is because one, they warm the room and two, they make a lot of noise. I so see. there's always a blow dryer perched on a towel, either on the floor or on the sink <laughs> counter. So he'll just turn where, it on? What, yep. And when the blow dryer's on, <clears throat> no one go near. That's a good sign. That's a trigger. And and yeah, and you don't hear anything. And that was the thing. There was no fan. There was no nothing. Exactly. And it moves the air. So, yeah. Yes. So that was my big... And it was such a major part of the stay. It has to be. I, it was. Was there a Starbucks in the house? Oh, no. No, no, no. There was no, no Starbucks. They don't have Starbucks in London? They're far away. They're in the they're in the tourist areas. Oh, they don't do no. There's other there's a there's cafe a Olé. there's a cafe Nero. I think is there coffee it's place. Like you could send them downstairs and be like, go get coffee and come back. No, and by then, nope. things will nope. be clear. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, None of that. So it was fine. I mean, it wasn't fine. It was terrible. Actually, yeah. it was the worst part because even like I was laying in bed. He's like, OK, I'm going to take a shower. I'm like, OK. So he closes the door and I can visually see him because everything is marble. Ugh. I can see the reflection of him getting in the shower and I go, OK, this is not good. Uh, I literally tried to stuff towels <laughs> just to be able to have some- anything. No, it was awful. I mean, it was. I, I, I wish all, I could say I that it wasn't. If all of the rooms are like that. Oh, I would. I would guarantee. Fucking tea. Unless it. you had like a two bedroom suite where you had a separate room with probably with its own bathroom. See, that, that would. That's be really the only way you could do, finagle such a I thing. Just, we don't have twenty grand a night to do no. it. No, but <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. It's like, oh, sure, you can have can privacy. We upgrade? Uh, sure. <laughs> I just don't understand this. And da- <laughs> so, Daryl and I are having our first dinner. And I said, I think I realized why they put barn doors in all the hotel rooms. Because, I mean, we've been from sea to shining sea. Yeah. And I said, I think it's because, <laughs> I go, I think it's because of suicide. So you don't kill yourself? I go, so they can get to you. Well, Anthony Bourdain managed and. At, well, no, not, not before, after. Like, if you lock oh. the door, it's like they can get to you. Oh. They can just slide it open and get to you. Or maybe, goes, maybe people barricade them in their, their and he's all, in there. And he's all, come out. suicide. I go, I yeah, he goes, no, it's for space. So the door doesn't like hit things. And I go, that doesn't make any sense to me. No. Okay. So, so do you agree with me? So I digress. I was just talking about how, how, how young our country was and how we're country mm. bumpkins and everything else. <laughs> I stayed in San Francisco last weekend and there was a door that shut everything <gasps> from everything. Was it an old building? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes that's what it is. They won't. They won't. Well, the hotel, them. the to- hotel had been rehabbed in 2015. I know, so. but if it's an old building, sometimes they'll leave things. Like when we were in Boston, we stayed at an old uh, Ritz Carlton, oh, yeah. and they had doors everywhere. Yeah, and it was wonderful. Yeah, I don't because it was an old, old building. I don't know, but I have stayed. I think certain chains favor that yes. style that you're talking about, the one yes. that you guys dealt with in, in London, the barn door. <laughs> yeah, it's because horrible. I've stayed at. Um, one particular chain, and I, I'm not going to remember what it is, but the, every single time I've stayed at their hotel, that's how their doors are. I can't with it. It's like, because I think it's, their, it's a Japanese style, 
Oh, or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, but it was a horrible. fusion sometimes, you know, it was, know. it was the worst, literally the worst part of the trip was the bathroom thing. And you walk in the door after a full day and you're like, Oh God. Yeah. That because darn door. I don't get any privacy. None. Like we're finally in our little quote unquote home or, where, or privacy. I don't right. know. <laughs> I swear to God. Did you feel like you started talking English when you were there? No, but I did realize that my vocabulary has English stuff, but we did. It was so cute. Um, they're, they call strollers buggies. Here are the airplanes. I do. The air show here. There's today. an air show here in our city. Sorry. Um, they call stro- they call strollers buggies. And so there's like, cute. they go buggy stop. And I'm like, buggy stop. It's like, this is where you park your stroller so you can walk in the park yeah, and, yeah. and not bother people. Right. So they call, they call elevators lifts. Yes. I did know that. And they just say toilet. Yeah. There's no bathroom. It's like toilets to the left. It's like very, God. very clear. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's very aggressive. <laughs> well, I do know that I think, and it would probably take me some getting used to, is that mm-hmm. things that are, um, and English children are adorable. Oh, are they? Oh my God. Well, they're God. beautiful humans anyway. Stephanie, I said that. I go, they are. I said, I feel like a troll. He goes, what are you talking about? I go, English women are tall. Thin. Thin. And their lines are clean. They don't yeah. wear clothes the way we wear clothes. No, they do not. And by the way, I did a lot of research before we left. And so we all, we dressed nice every day, all day, never wore tennis shoes, had nobody. You know, yeah. By the way, I cannot endorse Doc Martens enough. I wore oh them God. everywhere. Yeah. I walked over 20 miles in those Doc Martens and never had a blister. And because they do look dressed up, right? Yes. And everybody wears them. Right. Everybody there was wearing them. I mean, for Well, the they are part. on my Christmas list this year. Oh, I used to have some a hundred years ago and at some point I lost them. Oh, I, that's terrible. Someone probably stole, stole them. them. That's what I was thinking too. One of my sisters probably has them in a closet somewhere and they can only wear them <laughs> when they're going out of the state. They're like, just in case. She'll never see these. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what was funny is... Um, not all Americans dressed nicely. Well, no. So I saw them immediately. I'm like, tourists. oh, it's a NASCAR shirt. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. You know what was so funny? Is you Carrie, asked- come over here. <clears throat> oh, God. You asked me if I wanted something <laughs> from England when you before you left, and I couldn't think of anything. Yeah. And then while you were gone, I was like, you know what? I love novelty shit. Like, I'm just, like, I would be one of those people who. Give me the red, the red telephone booth ornament something yeah or mm-hmm. like like i would love an i love new york short you know like oh yeah like something like that like that's i don't know why i like shit they like that, did well because it's kitchen it's fun yeah you know? but i'm thinking that they probably didn't have anything like that they do um oh. the the thing is is that do they're they american tourist shop here uh basically <laughs> and you can see them a mile away right. and everybody stands in front of their store so they're just standing there like come in yeah, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's the same stuff from, from China. I mean, it's okay. all the same stuff. Yeah, it's just you know? garbage. Yeah. So we bought hardly anything to be frank. Yeah, we bought. Uh, we did. I did buy a, a, a sweatshirt that says London on it. Oh, cute! From a from a guy who clearly has this store twenty four seven. He's been there for years, and that was fine. He was not a kitschy. Like I just yeah. popped up for for today to right, sell right. this shit to you. So I did buy that, and we went to Harrods. Oh, lovely, Stephanie. Was that fun? It was, I had an anxiety attack. Why? Because it was so expensive? It was, first of all, it's like seven floors. Yeah. And we walked in on the ground floor and the ground floor is all the jewelry <sighs> and the accessories. Of course it is. Cordi- Cartier, Tiffany and Company, Harry Winston. You couldn't even find like something small that you could afford. <laughs> well, <laughs> the thing is this, I didn't want jewelry. Right. You have enough. You do. Well, it's... No, no. No woman. <laughs> okay, sorry. Has enough jewelry. No, you're correct about that. But we then we ended up in the um, accessories. So there's Chanel, Dior, YSL, Bottega <sighs> Veneta, Dior, it, all of it. And I walked in and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Does Daryl like to shop at all? He wanted to buy me something so bad. He's like, just pick out something and I'll buy it. I don't care how much it is. I'm like, yes, you do. Trust me. We we do. I He goes, you've been wanting this Jody bag for years. And it's like $3,000. Is it Chanel? No, no, no. Jody, it's Bottega Veneta. And it's called the Jody bag. And okay. It, Google it. It's amazing. I, I want one. I want one. Really bad. And so um, I'm like, I kind of want that Jody bag. And he's like, but they didn't have the color. Uh, and so I'm like, don't you know settle. What? No, I didn't. And I said, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to leave. And he goes, why? And I go, let's just go somewhere else. And so we went downstairs. We looked at men's clothes for like a minute, but like Versace and Gucci <sighs> and Coke and Sh- more Chanel and all these places. And Armani. they're like stores within stores. Yeah. And they're in glass. So you have to go in. And the thing is, is they, they're not big on perusing. 
if you walk in, you better be buying something. The person's going to be like, what can I show you? And you're going to buy it. And it was intimidating. Yeah, I wouldn't like I that. I didn't like it. And I mean, I just wasn't prepared. I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was dressed right. Right. And it had been raining. We had just come back from a, a museum where we had an amazing time. You were down time. in the mind frame. Mm-hmm. I wasn't. And so we went down to the ground floor where they sell the Harrods brand stuff. Like the green bag, everyone wants the green bag. That's oh. the whole point, right? And so I'm like, well, maybe we can find some stuff here that I'll like, you know, we can say we went to Harris, we can get the ornament, the bear, whatever, la, la, la. And I turned to him and I said, I got to get out of here. And he goes, yeah. why? I go, I can't be in here for, I can't breathe. It's just too much pressure. It's hot. I just, I got to get out of here. Yeah. And it, it's not easy to get out of there, by the way. Like, it's like a puzzle. It's like a maze. fucking maze. And I'm like, I need air, you know? So we finally <laughs> got out. I'm like, oh, thank God. I was like, yeah. give me an Uber. I want to get yeah. out of here. And that doesn't sound like a fun shopping experience. It wasn't, but me. there was a mini Harrods at Heathrow. Oh. And so we walked in and I bought a bunch of shit. That's perfect. It was definitely better. He still yeah. was like, I want to buy you something. I'm like, please don't. You're like, look, if I really, really wanted something, yes. I would absolutely be like, can we buy this? I just don't. And I was like that the But whole buying time. things for the purpose of just buying them. That's what I said. It's not satisfying to me. Well, and I just didn't want to buy for the, I'm like, Lent, first of all, London is all about the money and spending. Yeah. I mean, everything is about buy this. There's a store every five feet trying to sell you something. Ugh. You know, they they say we have a lot of advertising and we do. We have a lot of billboards. We have a lot of commercials, all that. Totally get it. But there is a brand store every 10 feet, Ugh, yeah. wherever you go. I guess, you know, for me, I would have been. And if, I'm not complaining. Oh, it's no, just no, that that's no. what it is, you know? Yeah, it's not like your average where you're just browsing or you're walking Mm-mm. down the street and it's like, hey, let's go in here. No, there's no. a whole district. Right. And so Several for me, if I would have had to like sit in my room and Google and mm-hmm. specifically, like, okay, I want to go here yes. or I want to go here. So I had a very pointed where I'm going when I walk out right. the store. And it was fun. So <laughs> the first night, oh, well, I'll tell you about, I'll, I'll talk about it in my awkward moment because that's when it happened the first night we were there. But we did the double decker bus. Oh, fun. Did you see it's, pictures? It's open air. I have a shit ton of pictures. Okay, thank God. But we you saw, posted nothing. Well, not yet, but I will. I've got to go through them all because Daryl takes the worst photos and right. like everybody looks bad. At one point I got mad at him because he's like, let's take this selfie in front of Big Ben and we're on the bus. I'm like, yeah, cool. So I had been taking a bunch of selfies of myself and I'm like, oh, these are good. This is a good angle. The light's great whatever big ben's behind me i can't and i'll show them to you and so he goes hey let's do a selfie and i'm like stop i go why do you do this angle i look like i have four chins and i look a (laughs) hundred years old my hair looks like garbage and he was like i must have been like serious because he literally just plain stopped he's like all right fine i won't take that selfie i'm like let's just try a different angle for once every selfie of us that you take i look like hell and because Why? he doesn't, that's because men don't see you the way we see ourselves. Well, and then, I, you know what? They don't see reality. And here's what's worse. He'll want to post them all. No. Look how beautiful my three chinned wife is. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. God. Stop. Please. You know what? My bestie's like that. She's like, Stephanie, she's like, you look how you look. She's like angles <sighs> and filters and all that stuff. She's like, at the end of the day, this is just how you look. You just have to embrace it. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> No, you do not. No, I fucking don't. <laughs> no. Do you think Kim Kardashian embraces every photo she has ever taken regardless? She deletes Fuck. 10. She deletes 10 of the ones she posts every time. Exactly. Come on. Does no one know this? Uh, I don't know. This is fucking crazy. You, you want to know why we don't have cameras? I can fucking tell you. <laughs> we don't have all the ring lights yet. We're not right? ready. And my eyes are still swollen. I mean, God. Anyway, so <laughs> London was great. And... The double well, it sounds amazing. Was it sounds it amazing. Was. I'm now, sure. So the queen had died. The funeral. So the day we, the first day we were there, the full day that we were there, we're like, okay, we're going to walk around. We're going to see everything. So we go across the street. There's a, now we stayed, apparently we stayed in the Royal District, which I did not know. Lovely. Well, it's the Four Seasons. Yeah. So the Royal District. Did you think it was going to be in the Red Light <sighs> District? No, you're right. <laughs> so the Royal I'm District. I'm sure the Ritz Carlton was not far away. It was across the street. I and knew it. Far more popular, by the way. <laughs> well, um, did you? Win? I bet they had closing doors. You know what? They probably did. <laughs> and I and I have to tell you, I said I told Daryl. I said when we come back, we're not staying at the Four Seasons again. Not that it wasn't a perfect. Oh, it was perfect, but the bathroom room. I all. said, but I can't do this again. I can't, mm. Stephanie. <laughs> Jamie, I'm so grateful we didn't stay at the Four Seasons last weekend because Jerry begged me to stay there. 
And I was like, you know what? <laughs> they have barn doors. You know what? They probably do have it. barn doors. I'm going to tell him. He's like, oh, thank God. Because he's way do. worse than me. Oh, Stephanie. I, let me tell he you this. He has such anxiety about Fast forward that. to seven days later, we walk in the door. I peed. For and home? I'm, yeah. I walk in the door, peed. And immediately, every time I peed, I pooped. Every you time. Know, well, I've been holding it for seven days. Seven days. I've just been doing the bare minimum so that I can <laughs> and continue like, I to don't, eat. You know, <laughs> Stephanie, there were times when I would go to the bathroom and it would just come out because i had eaten and my body was like there's no more room you have to let something go sorry something has to give girl so I'm like no oh god and it was the worst i felt so much shame god. <laughs> like, i hated it i hated it i know what you mean though it didn't ruin the I trip would've, i would have been like daryl go downstairs do something he, he offered he's like i can go you i go let him but, but, stephanie jamie because then you would have been free <laughs> free <laughs> there's did no you have way. opening windows Yes. Okay. Not in the bathroom. No, I'm just saying. Oh no, he could see because Jerry's worst fear is the fact that whatever's in the bathroom is going to come out of the bathroom. That never happened, and I think it's because of the toilet, perhaps because the bucket is so long. Okay, that's probably true. It almost felt like one of those outhousey toilets where it was I really you, low. You know, Jerry has practically tackled me like a football player for even <laughs> approaching a door. <laughs> Don't go in there. Like. Uh, what is this thing we have i don't know he's a guy most guys aren't like that well jeff will invite me in with a smile on his face come smell my odor he does it's disgusting i walk in i'm like good god jeff he'll just look at me i went i'm like i can see that yes smell that son but the park we went across the street and we started walking around and we i saw like this commotion and i said is that are those homeless people (laughs) Like, I didn't know. I'm, I'm so accustomed to I our th- parks I don't think being, they have the issues we have. Though they do not. Yeah. But they do come out at night. I will tell you this. Because oh, okay. we walked around at night and they were there. And I'm like, oh, I didn't see you earlier. Maybe they're not allowed. I saw a guy giving himself a foot massage. Oh, God. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm what? like, And I'm like, I never saw him earlier today. And I walked everywhere today. And I didn't see you. But they come out at night. So I don't know where they go during the day. But anyway, I'm like, you know, thinking this is America that our parks have homeless people in them so i'm like oh is that a home and i'm like i don't want to go near it right. and then we started seeing all these people walking down these paths and now let me tell you england does their parks right i pristine couldn't even they are so beautiful <sighs> they're so lovely i mean i we we went, just wanted to be them in them we all spent, the time we spent hours in parks while we were there lovely. we went to two different parks and we spent hours did you do like the whole european thing where you had like some bread and some cheese and like wine we and, did like, it sat and around with no we, shoes on we no <laughs> never but no we did not do a picnic um we were too busy seeing everything yeah so we're Probably like the what fastest is that? seven days of your life huh no, I was ready to leave. Oh, really? Yeah, I was ready. But it was probably because I had to poop. I don't know. Yeah, you're like, I'm just so uncomfortable. I, I just go really home. need to go home. No, 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 no. But we were walking, and so we were following all these people, and what we noticed is they were not tourists. These were people who, who lived there. Yeah. And so we're following them, and all of a sudden we come across millions. I mean, millions Ants? of flowers, oh. photos, wreaths, stuffed animals, oh, the queen. cards. They had taken all of the tribute that people that the people had left along the path of Buckingham Palace, right. and they had taken it and moved it to the park because there wasn't enough room anymore. <clears throat> well, they had to clear it out. Yeah, I mean, because traffic goes through there. So, sure. so we, I have a bunch of pictures of that. It was so moving, and there is a palpable sense of grief. Oh, for sure. And I was surprised because you know we hear all the oh she's a colonizer we hate her you know oh I don't oh well. It's it's one or the other. Okay. And so, but the people obviously that were there clearly were. They they were I didn't their... see a lot of crying, but I did see a lot of emotions yeah. and very reflective and somberness, very somber. And so it was beautiful. It yeah. was beautiful. And so then, well, what we, a what a profound time for you guys to be there. Exactly. So we took we definitely took that in quite a bit. And there were several of them throughout the park because there was just so many. Mm-hmm. So we just started walking, and next thing you know, we're in front of Buckingham Palace. Oh, cool! Because the street is closed because of the funeral, oh, right. so they hadn't taken anything down yet. So people were literally walking. You can't go. It's gated. Yeah, yeah. But gated. you could be right We've all in front. seen it. The media was there the whole time you guys were gone. Yeah, so we, we were right in front. I'm like, oh, man. So you can see everything. So we took a bunch of pictures of that. Cool. And the street was closed, and they had created a crosswalk. And so all these Londoners were standing in there taking pictures of Buckingham Palace with all of the flags 
and I didn't, we did not realize how rare it was to be able to stand in the middle of the street and get this view of the palace. Oh. So we took pictures too, because yeah. they were all taking pictures and we're like, well, this must be historical. Unique. Well, because there's traffic on that road. Yeah. So <clears throat> we took all those photos and then the Royal Guard came out and they let people pet the horses and it oh, was so neat. Cool. And so we watched all of that and Daryl's like, you want to go pet the horse? I'm like, I do, but there are children and I think this is a children's thing. Yeah, we should let them. I don't want to walk up and go, excuse me, can I, I pet the horse? Yeah. I'm not so, a person who would ever do that ever. No. So, we, so, but it was really magical and then we were walking. Jerry would. <laughs> he would he's the kind of the person like oh let's go shake their hand i'm like no what no. touching a sweaty hand of those a- are police officers well they're famous like- just like when he touched gloria estevan's hand and he's like maybe some of her <laughs> richness will well wear off on me i'm like you're an idiot what that's what he said that's insane he's like i'm not washing this hand i'm like oh my yes God, you are so actually dumb. Of course, anyway, now with Corona, he probably wouldn't, but you know. Corona. <laughs> My Corona. <laughs> anyway, so we started walking and we, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I don't know. We started walking <laughs> and all of a sudden I'm like, why are these all these people standing around? And we were in this, the government area and we didn't realize where we were. And I'm like, why is it, it smells like horses, first of all. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And then second, what these cops, these police officers behind a wrought iron gate were incre- like well armed, well armed. And I'm like, wow, they've got like massive war machinery. Why are they so armed? That's where the fucking prime minister lives. It's well, right yeah. there. And I'm like, oh, well, this is why people, because there was a, there's a new prime minister now and yes. they just became new. And she so did. there were people waiting for her to kind of walk out apparently. Yeah. And I'm like, well, we didn't wait for that. This but, happened shortly before the queen died. Yeah. It did. And so we walked down this little alley and we found a pub. We hadn't had any pubs yet. We hadn't gone to a pub yet. We're like, well, we got to go to a pub. So we walk into the pub. There's nobody in there. We order a pint. Not a good sign if there's no one in there. Well, no, it was a dead, it was a dead time because people were working, you know, the government. Yeah. Well, no, they're closed actually because there's a royal period of mourning. And so they were still Probably that whole week, I imagine. It was. So we ordered a pint. I ordered a Guinness because I didn't know what to get. Yeah. Daryl got something. So we're sitting there and we're looking out the window and it's a very, it's been around since like the 1500s. Yeah. And so everybody's really cool. There's, you know, they're like, we walk in and they're like, oh, where are you from? Because they didn't know, they didn't bother to ask us until we opened our mouths because we weren't dressed like tourists. Yeah, but you look as fucking American as they come. I don't know, man. Jamie. Well, anyway. It's wishful thinking. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, because I'm not tall and thin and blonde. No, because we just look American as hell. I don't know. I couldn't tell the diff. Really? No, unless they were tall and blonde or, or t- just tall. I didn't think they were anything. Okay. But there's but the variety of people so we right. order so we're sitting down and of course this is our first pub we're like oh this is our first pub having our first pint this is so exciting and i'm like it smells in here <laughs> it smells in- <laughs> like urine and mildew it smelled like an outhouse i'm like why does it smell like sewage in here because everything's old as fuck and he goes well maybe the bathroom you know the bathrooms are downstairs da, da, da. i'm like it stinks <laughs> well, leave immediately <laughs> like, but they're well, outdoor there's- seating no there's no requirement tiny- to sit there and smell <laughs> I mean, God, I was trying to embrace the moment <laughs> no. of being in England having a pint. And I just was like, all I can smell is toilet. <laughs> Do you have a to-go cup? <laughs> it literally smelled like outhouse, like urine cake. <clears throat> and I was like, no. I can't stop. I go, they serve food here? <laughs> like, it's disgusting. <laughs> I hope nobody can hear you. <laughs> so gross. They'd be like, these fucking American assholes. <laughs> And I turned, I'm like, Daryl, don't you smell? He's like, I don't smell anything. I'm like, you are. What the hell? How do you know? Okay. He's like, well, maybe a little. I'm like, okay. Well, I, and, he, and then of course. He was embracing the moment. Being a man. I have to go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, okay. yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Please walk into the waft. <laughs> walk I, into the You fog. couldn't pay me. Stay. Actually, Jamie, that's where you should have relieved yourself. No one would have noticed. I didn't have to poop yet. So it was like, <laughs> it was you. early. Anyway, so I, I didn't even finish our beer. <clears throat> I said, let's go. Duh. So we ended up Wait, wondering. Wait, I have to ask, were, yeah. were things expensive? Very. Like a beer? Um, I don't know. How much for beer? <laughs> we, don't, we don't know. Fucking snobs. I would say. Because you know why? Because the, the, they use the tap. Yes. Oh, with your card? You're just yeah. like, dude. Yeah, you tap everything. no tip or anything. You it's just done. Yeah. I think it was like, honestly, I think it was like 10 bucks each. For a beer. Well, that's not, yeah. Maybe. That's about normal. I yeah. think I remember somebody saying 22 pounds or something. Okay, all right. But one time I heard that. <laughs> for two yeah yeah okay but the pints are big well it's that's like about big. i was gonna say that's about normal it and it's they were tall a pint is huge yeah, i don't it think was i a could lot. drink a pint of beer personally you, oh you can 
I what? did. I didn't think I could. I, I did. Several, they actually. They make me burp, and then I'm full. Oh, and... I was full, too, but it was worth it. It's so yeah. good. So we left that pub and went to Westminster Abbey. Well, what we did not know is that Westminster Abbey is normally not free. You have to pay to get in oh. for tours and stuff. I did not know and that. so they were like, no, it's free for the next two days because of the queen. Right. And so you can come in, and you can pay your respects, oh, blah, blah, wonderful. blah. Westminster Abbey is on my was on my bucket list. Yeah, it's so, so much beautiful. stuff has gone down in that Isn't church. That where everybody gets married. Everyone gets married and gets buried. Yeah, everybody. And so anybody I walked who's in. Anybody who's married or buried. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I did have a little bit of an American moment initially because first of all the the preachers or the priests are all out and they're all wearing their you know their robes and everything and they're just like no no photos no photos and I'm like oh okay. Oh. And it makes sense. There's a lot of people buried in there. Right. There's like graves in there. Yeah. So I, which I did not know. And so in tombs. Yes. So I'm like, all right, no photos. I'm cool with that. So I walk in. I'm like, wow, it's so cool here. Like, I'm like, wow. Oh, geez. And I'm like, it's a church and people are in mourning. Yeah. They're like, Shut a lot up. of people are sitting in like uh, contemplation. And God. I was like, okay, okay. So I got myself right immediately. Yeah. But like, there's still the flowers from the funeral were still so in gorgeous, there. Probably. It, it's like a hundred feet tall. It's so big in there. Yeah. And, so and beautiful. there's like things are gated off and you could see all these entombments. Like as far as I can see, it's so much bigger than I thought. So we walk in now the first, the first part, it's just here it is. And we're walking down and you know, when you see those pictures and they're sitting in the red chairs. Yeah. We saw all of it. Yeah. You can see where everybody sits. It's a lot more narrow than I thought. Right. It's so old. We, we go into the second part and then there's a distinct vibe, like a real vibe. Like of. dead people are here. This is where, you know, Being respectful and yes, quiet, like an immediate change in vibe. Yeah. And I'm a bit, I'm big on that. I can sense a change in, in the energy. So <clears throat> I walk in, I'm like, Oh look, it's Stephen Hawking. He's on the floor right here. Who's and that? He, Stephen Hawking. Yeah, he's that. like an amazing, he's like on the Einstein of our time. Oh, okay. Well, he died. He's the one in the wheelchair with know. the weird, like, rah, rah, blah, 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 blah. you know, no, no. I'm Stephen Hawking. <laughs> you know? No. The only oh one God. I really know is like He's Winston Churchill. Uh, <laughs> okay, never mind. Anyway. I'm not nearly as culturally <clears throat> as whatever you, you know. And then we saw Isaac Newton's grave. I don't know who that is. He discovered gravity. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, there were people like that there. Jimmy, you're a historian person. I'm sorry. I am well, not. Stephen Hawking is a scientist. Well, a theory of everything. But he's probably been dead for a hundred years, right? No, he died like five years ago. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Anyway, he's in, he's, he's, okay, not to be disrespectful, but he's like crumpled up in a wheelchair. He's got a weird face and you would see a picture I'll Google and him and be like, okay. Google him and go, oh yeah, okay. Well, the reason it was, his grave was square and everybody else's was long. <laughs> Well, they probably put him down there in the chair, right? I don't know, but he was like a little ball of a person. So. Do they actually put their whole bodies in there? I don't or know. do they like cremate them? I have no idea what the... Because what the... I can't imagine they would have rotting flesh right below your feet. You would smell <sighs> it. I don't know. Well, I'm sure they're in caskets. Well, so? <clears throat> anyway, so London was fun. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know who he is. I didn't know he was English. <laughs> yes, he's English. I didn't know he was English. I, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is, is anyone listening to this garbage? Okay. I didn't think so. No, we've been going on for almost an hour about it. So they're probably we over can't it. Edit. Oh my God. We can't even edit the no. show. Oh, well, anyway. All right. Well, it was amazing. <laughs> is there anything else to say? No. I mean, I think other than the history, it would be like, what did you guys, how was the food? You know, good. How all was- of it. it. The food was really good. Uh, the... The people were so nice, and there was a lot of money, like I said. We saw everything. Yeah. We griswolded the shit out of London. Good. No doubt. Did you get on that giant Ferris wheel? <laughs> no. Why? We didn't want to. I didn't really want to. Oh, okay. It's, it's very touristy in that area. Did you go on the, there's a bridge, a famous bridge. The Tower Bridge? Yeah. Yes, we went over it twice. Cool. I have photos of that. We saw Big Ben a million times. We went to the Tower of London, where Anne Boleyn had her head cut off. Oh, lovely. I loved it. <laughs> I thought it was good. I'm like, hey, this is where she got her head cut off. This is awesome. But <clears throat> well, fun. I'm glad you had a great time. I'm we glad. did have. I a hope great it time. was everything you wanted it to be, and then some. It was. It was. We'll never forget it. I won't. Um, okay, really quick before we go into some ugly and awkward moments, the Try Guys. This guy Ned. <sighs> so he's built his whole brand around the fact that he's a doting husband, and his wife Ariel is everything to him. Okay. And if you know who the Try Guys are, you, you, you do. If you don't, you don't. I don't. It's fine. They're these four guys. They try everything. 
Uh-huh. They basically like, hey, we want to know what it feels like to go into labor. Let's get those machines. You know? uh, okay, or, hey, okay. we've never had this before. Let's try this. Okay, the Try Guys. They oh, were on I BuzzFeed. Get it. Try, yeah. Yeah, they were on BuzzFeed for a minute, and now they created their own company. Ned created this company. And so now they do all of these things on, like, YouTube or whatever. Oh, okay. His, his persona is he's a husband who loves his wife dearly, and he's very, like, projects about it all the time. Everything he does has to do with his wife and his love for his wife. Ugh. <clears throat> Red flag, first of all. It's not a red flag. It's yes, it nauseating. Is. I don't know one man who projects so much about how great his wife is that doesn't really think that. I know one that's in this room that resembles He's, that. He does not make it his whole life. No, he has a life. He doesn't make it his whole life. No, he does not. This person did and was cheating on her. And everybody found out about it. It was a subordinate in his company. What a moron. So he had to quit the Try Guys and now he and his wife are trying to work shit work out. Things out. But apparently, according to people who know him, this is not the first time. Well, then, the fuck? <clears throat> this should not be his spiel, then. Uh, I think this is a person who wishes that he was this guy. Well, That's what I then think. Keep your dick in your pants. It's pretty simple, actually. <sighs> I know. Why? I don't know, because you know what? A married friend of mine and I were talking the other day. We had to spend, like, eight hours together in the same room doing something mm-hmm. for work. And... um. He has been married for a really, he's similar to me. We are literally the same age. So he's Mm -hmm. been with his wife and I've been with my husband for almost the same amount of time, over 25 years. And he loves his wife. It's cute. It is the cutest thing. Very, very much loves her. He's not over the top though, is he? Um, no, not at all. Not at all. But we were just, but he just, you know how you can get a vibe from some guys? He's he's not a cheater. Okay. But so we were talking about. And I'm not really either, to be honest with you. I mean, mm-hmm. I think I entertain a lot of thoughts, but I've never actually done it. Yeah. So I'm not that fun. But um, he, basically we were saying like how you can get a lot of satisfaction just out of mental games or flirting yeah. and not even like heavy. I'm not talking about like. No, it's just, um, just. What do they say? They say, we don't really care how the motor gets started as long as you park at home. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, and I'm not talking about anything physical or any, even anything emotional that no, goes beyond games. something really, really lighthearted. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, cause I'm not a fan of getting I'm, deep friendships with men and women. Oh man, I am so not. Yeah. That would not fly with me <laughs> no. and I wouldn't do it either myself. Mm-mm. So, but you know, we both basically agreed that this has sustained us for a quarter of a century. Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm like, we're not dead just because no. we're married and no. So, yeah, this anyway. dude, I'm like, you know, why why go all the way? I don't understand like, it. Like, you don't have to go all so the way. They're, they're calling them wife guys, where and they're they're categorizing people like this guy. Ned, first of all, his name is Ned. Ned Flanders. He looks like a walking recessive gene. <laughs> he wears glasses. I'm like, what is, why? What? All men can get laid. It's disgusting. Well, it's just annoying beyond. Yeah. Right? Well, he's a <laughs> hypocrite. Well, yes, and a liar and all the things. Yeah. But they're trying to categorize Adam Levine as a wife guy. I'm like, he is He's not. He's not. And never was. And you know Stop what? It. By the way, Bahati Prinslow, she's in a pickle. Yeah. This bitch is pregnant <laughs> as fuck. I know. She has two children already. I know. She's literally another one of these girls like Giselle Bunchen, who gave up her entire career, mm-hmm. gave up everything, married the man that she really loves, who happens and to be famous. She's getting pregnant. And keeps getting fucking pregnant, you know, and now he has turned out to be a total slime wad. What does she do? Does she dump him in the throes of her pregnancy? No. And publicly declare, you know, well, they're, 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 pro- they're projecting a, a united front right now. Of course they are. What choice does she have? Well, she she's like leave. a million months pregnant. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel so bad I think for the, her. The thing that is actually worse to me is that he reached out to this woman that he was sleeping with that he claims the he name. wasn't. That he wants to name his baby. After her. After her. And that makes such me... Such a pig. That would make me leave. And she had proof. <clears throat> I'm sorry. She posted yeah. texts. DMs. She had to. And I read that she went public because she had to. Because her friend was going to sell her out. Yep. Yeah, she did. But, but you know, and the thing is, is if you've ever been pregnant, if you've ever had a baby, when you're pregnant, you couldn't feel... Sometimes, okay. Very vulnerable. Some women embrace pregnancy and like, it's beautiful and I love the way I look. Most of us feel like (laughs) fat cows. And just want to get over it. And want to get it over with. And our body is out of our control Mm -hmm. and we look constantly swollen we look like thumbs it's true so i mean right now she's feeling her most vulnerable and this guy is out there just being a pig i i could be more disgusting I, I read a little thing and it said and everybody knows he has a small dick in hollywood and i'm like he has the smallest dick in hollywood oh really apparently I don't know. Maybe that's just somebody trying to say something. Well, I mean, the, I think the fact that he is kind of getting away with it in the media. I don't understand. I and don't You either. know what? I, I actually, 
I grew cold on him in his last season on The Voice. Oh. He had a weird obsession with one of his contestants who was like 15 years old. Ew. And he couldn't, he was obsessed with her. He saved her multiple times so that she could get to the finals. And he's like, like he was visibly upset that she did not continue. And he's like, I just don't understand why America doesn't see what I see. And I'm like, you do need to dial it down. Right. You, you're looking weird right now. Yeah. And I don't know what the, he goes, I will help you. I will do everything. I don't care about the show. And I'm like, dude, if I was his mother, her dad, I'd be like, Stay you're going away. in, you're going nowhere near my daughter. You fucking weirdo. Yeah. Right. So after I saw that, it was R. a weird, Kelly. it was a very strange interaction that he had with this one very specific artist. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on with this fool. There's something wrong with him. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's he's an egotistic maniac who's used to people telling him how amazing he is all the time. I and never thought he was amazing. I know some women I mean, really I, find him hot. I liked him. I like him. I like him artistically. I never, we've talked about this so many times. I never get attached to celebrities in any kind of personal way. Yeah. As far as like, I like, if I like their work or yeah, like their fine. art, whatever. Yeah. But as far as like you as a human being, your stock socks still smell. And, and I don't even know who you are. We don't even know. Your underwear. I mean, that's the thing. Um, we don't, we only know what they show us. We don't yeah, know who they are. They're, they're, they might just be the worst people on the planet. Well, I suspect that they will not, they will not trump this Dude, issue. He, and you were so spot on about Giselle and Tom Brady. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's not you over either. So, oh God. No. Yeah. He just needs to get through the season and she's no fool. And he looks like shit. Yeah. And he's playing like He's shit. playing like shit. Well, you know what? He made his bed. Lie in it, Tom. He really should have just stopped when he Done. Had, and why didn't he stop? It's I so said dumb. that the last three seasons he's played. I'm I like, know. What else do you have to prove, dude? I know. And then, why don't you go and like play for the Browns or like the worst <laughs> fucking team in the NFL and see if you can like somehow make yourself feel better? I know because it's weird. there's nothing left to do. Why do you think that? Um, why do you think that uh, Gwen and uh, Blake aren't going to make it? I'm curious. Because I think that the novelty and the newness of that, because they have this whole, like, he's super country. Right. And she's the exact opposite. She's a Southern California mm-hmm. girl. And, like, yeah. so they're, like, oh, two opposites attract, blah, blah, blah. That is going to wear off. I, if it hasn't already. If it hasn't already. Blake, Blake is no fool as far mm. as his what the way he's perceived in the media. Yeah. Gwen doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> she, she just doesn't have the common sense <laughs> to realize the way that she acts and her behavior is going to eventually be scrutinized. She's going through something right now and I don't know what it I is. I think it's that she's, she's, you know, I mean, for a long time, her talent and her, her novelty was, it was with her original band. Mm-hmm. Then she dumped that because she was just too good for them anymore. And she's just not that great musically anymore. I just don't, I don't understand what she's doing with her face. Well, I mean, because she's in the beauty industry the now. The fillers. It's too much. She looks like it's a cat much. lady. I hate yeah. it. She's, she's going through that typical she's woman. She's so pretty. She doesn't she's have to pretty. do it. Yeah, she's pretty. She's just, I don't know. It's like she's getting older and it's really weighing on her. And I don't know. I hate it though. She's trying to buy her way out. I just think she's starting to feel a little insecure. She's been feeling insecure. She she might be in general. We don't know. I don't think she was before, but she's been dumped a couple times. Oh, and hard. Gavin really fucked her over. I agree. Yeah. I, oh God. That guy was such a tool for And Blake that. was just a rebound. That's and I, what I thought. I've been saying this forever, but yeah. then they got married. I'm like, well, I guess I'm wrong. Well, I, I just don't know. I think he felt honestly, he, his, her children love him. I know. And I think that that was a big part of it for him. It's like, how can I let these boys down after everything they've been through? Oh they love God. me and I'm like their, their center. And I don't know. Am I really going to just man. dump them? I don't because know. I really don't want to marry their mom. She needs to stop with the fillers. So let's That's just write it say. out and tell their adults and then he'll be like, all right, bye. I am so full of phlegm right now. I can't even. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's do our ugly and awkward moments of the week. Mine's going to be hard to explain. Try, try to because say it, it was visual. Words. Well, mine was visual. So one day at work, this is why you were in London, I felt... I saw a teensy, tiny, teensy little zit on the tip of my nose. What did you do to it? I left it alone. I washed my face in the morning and I left it alone. I looked at it. I was like, there's nothing there. It's not white. It's not even got a head to it. It's just a red dot. It's just a little tiny red dot that I can deal with. I can actually cover it up with makeup. No problem. Went to work, sitting at my desk. I suddenly feel like the tip of my nose was throbbing. What? It was throbbing. Oh no. And initially it was a little throb. But it was very, it, ha- it was right at the tip and I could feel it going, do, do. it was like a baby heartbeat on my nose. Oh, no. And so I ignored it. And, and you're like, I, I know it's that soon. I knew I what it was. I knew what it was. It. I'm, I'm like, working. you know what? By the time I get home tonight, 
I'll be able to perform surgery and yeah. it's fine. Get your tools and mm-hmm. do what you got to do. Yep. On a clean face mm-hmm. because I had makeup on. I was not going to mess with it. No. Mm-hmm. Well, as the couple hours progressed, it turned into a, my whole nose was a heartbeat. <gasps> oh my God. My entire Ed. nose was beating. Was it a zit? Hard. And it hurt. Did you get bitten by another spider? I felt it. Yeah. I was like, okay, something's happening and I don't know what it is. So by <laughs> lunch, I had to go into the main bed- bathroom like? <laughs> where I have a giant mirror and I look and I'm like, my God. God, did you I look, look like, like a clown. Oh my God. Did you it look looked like, like a bozo nose was on the end of my nose. Did like you get some, bitten by something? I don't know. I never did figure out what it was. It couldn't, uh, perhaps, you know what? You're right. Now that you're saying that, it never occurred to me that I got bit by something. I just assumed it was, I don't know. So I look at it and I'm like, all right, now it's got, it's substantial. It has legs. <laughs> I'm like, and it must be dealt with because yes. it is throbbing. My whole nose is throbbing. So I tried to squeeze it. Nothing came out. <gasps> it was clear. It was just one of those. I'm like, okay, it's like a backward zit. I'm like, you must, you must stop immediately. Whatever it is you're doing. You're going to make it worse. You still have five hours to go where oh. people have to see you. So stop it. What'd you so do? So I went back to my desk. I tried to cover up what I had, the damage I had done in the bathroom sure, at lunch. With the fingernails. And mm-hmm. it was very difficult to have any kind of, because now it was oozing. Stop it. And so when I stuck makeup on it, it was like a chunk, you know, crusting. Yeah, it was crusting. <gasps> and there, and and if I tried to put powder on it, the powder would smear and oh, it would smear no. the clear stuff. You know, By we can't even of, help ourselves. I, it was ridiculous. By the end of the day, <laughs> you must have looked horrible. Oh my god, Jamie! So, and I had a meeting that night, so oh, I couldn't fun. even go directly home. I had a meeting that night. I had you had to continue, and I'm the chair of the meeting. <laughs> so you have to so sit I sit there. at the head of the table, and I talk the whole time, and everybody's looking at me. So by the end of the day, this thing had turned into a monster that I can't even tell <gasps> you about. The blood had pooled to the tip no. of my nose, but it was like the size of a dime. It wasn't What's even happening? like a pit. Yeah. I couldn't tell you i shrunk my friend was like oh god she's like what have you done i'm like i know oh my god i was like i don't even know what to do and so there was nothing i could not about there's no amount of i tried yeah when i got in the car going to the meeting i had the air conditioner blowing on it to try to dry it Uh because it was still so it kept it kept was wet like it just wouldn't stop god and so i dried it and then i put makeup on it and it was just it was hideous. I everybody was staring at my nose. No doubt about it. Did you just it. walk in and go honk honk, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like Gonzo. Jeez, I swear to God. So the, when I got home, Jerry looked. I had told him on the phone on my way to the meeting. We're like, was going I'm mortified. On. I was mortified. So I get home and I go, "Well, here's me in my nose." And he looked at me. He's like, "You need to go to the doctor." <laughs> Oh my like, God. Aren't you worried? He's like, <laughs> "Serious?" I was like, "No." So I'm giving Jeff a bath, and Jeff's like. You look like you have the combination of a grape and tomato on your nose. Oh my God. That, it was like a cherry tomato. I think you got bit by something, Ugg. I don't know. But at the end of it, so that was the end of that particular day. But what ended up happening was my entire nose scabbed from the whole round tip of your nose. If you could imagine a size of a dime. And you can't stop scabbed picking Scabbed. Hard. I think you thick, got bitten by a thick, spider. solid scab. A spider bite. Oh my God. That's terrifying Something, something to think slept of. and went, wink. Oh and then just kept, it crawled off. Yeah. So it's only been recovered since right before you got home. This is not a brown recluse. Your nose would have rotted off. Uh, <laughs> that would have been horrifying. But if you're as vain as I am, if you can Did imagine. Did you wear a mask? I wore a mask. Thank God. I was like, you know, I haven't been feeling well. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but there were other times where, I mean, Veronica saw it. She's yes. like, stop it. <laughs> Whatever you're doing. Oh, my God. Because you're it. right. If you can imagine having a quarter size scab on your nose. You're picking it. Constantly. I couldn't stop. I would. I'd be like, give me some tweezers. I'm I, going. Oh, I'm going I went crazy. off on the, with the tweezers. Oh, yeah. At home. Nuts. But even at work, I was like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Constantly. constantly. And there's nothing, you know, there's not enough Neosporin or Band-Aids or Actually, nothing. Actually, you know what? Interestingly enough, Jerry was the one that suggested Neosporin. I thought that was the stupidest thing ever. Probably healed immediately. It, it was like 100% better by the Thank next day. God. It wasn't gone, but it was, it, no. it did magic. <sighs> So I well, know that's, if you can't visual, I should have taken a picture and posted you, it. You would never. <sighs> On our website? I don't know. Because then they would be like, my God. You're like, that is a brown recluse bite. And you you're would- very lucky that you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Why awkward moment. It what happened the first night in London. We were sitting at dinner at the restaurant in the hotel. And oh. we were just, it was like nine o'clock at night. And it felt like noon. Oh. So we're like, you know. Wide awake. And so... Um, we ordered food and I thought, you know, it was fine. It was, we were just tired. And so yeah. then we're like, would you like some dessert? We're like, yeah, sure. Why not? So we ordered some dessert and we're, <laughs> I took one bite. He's like, would you guys, 
I decided I was going to have tea. I'm like, oh, Jamie's I would like, like a spot of tea, please. And some crumpets, please. Well, here's the problem is that you can't just say you want tea. Right. It's not like here where there's two options. They hand you a menu of three pages, like, which one do you want? No, it wasn't even that. He goes, oh, what would you like? And I said, oh, I think I'll just have green tea. And he goes, just green tea? And I said, yeah. I go, oh, well, like if there's some jasmine green tea or something, he goes, well, do you want jasmine and green tea? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I just want green tea. Well, they just mix tea. the tea, right? Well, they, no, they were going to bring me two different. I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, I just want the, I just want green tea. Yeah, like, I just okay. thought if you had jasmine infused green tea, but if that's too much, then please. So they bring out the green, the green tea. tea. It's it's in a French press so that the leaves are in there mm. and you just pour it and you, whatever. Delish. So I had this, and they bring it in this beautiful English china. You know, it's so nice. And so I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm going to have a spot of tea with my dessert. Did you and say so- that at the table when... Daryl. Yeah. No, no, he says no. Maybe I was thinking it. <laughs> She's like, I wish I would have said that. Although I will say we walk by some kids. <laughs> Side note, we walk by some kids and they're like, she looks like Ariana Grande. You? No, the kids were, no, 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 not to me. Oh, they were like, just wow. talking. They were on a field trip and they were talking oh, to each other. She cute. looks like Ariana Grande. She's like, she does look like Ariana Grande. <laughs> I love Ariana Grande. And I'm like, cute. I love these fucking children. Right? They're so fresh. So we're sitting there and I'm like, all right, I'll take a bite. So I took a bite of the, it was like an ice cream thing. So I took a bite and immediately fell Dumped into it on my your tea. Lap. In oh, my- your tea. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, I dropped it in my tea. And he's like, he's like, well, can you get it out? I go, it's melted. <laughs> Cause it's I would have like, like slammed it like a shot. So, so, I just, so I just stirred it and I just drank it. I'm like, well, it made it creamy, I guess. <laughs> Oh, God. That's so funny. You poor thing. Day one, I'm like, well, this is my first international <laughs> awkward moment. Here we go. That didn't take long. <laughs> it did not. It took hours. <laughs> Literally hours. Anyway, oh, all right. Well, God. I mean, there's so much more. I'm sure a bunch will come up as we go mm. uh, throughout this you yes, know, you'll recording. Have... I'll remember things and go, oh, right. my God, I forgot to tell you. Right, right. Oh, that's so funny. But, yeah, it was a really great trip. And um, like I said, we well, I'm glad you it. survived. You made it back alive. <sighs> yes, we did. Oh, and that was a whole thing. But I'll tell you about it next time. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Well, thank you for, for listening. And we will be back next week with a new show. Bye.